everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to some more gameplay of Tales of Berseria, continuing from where we left off. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far, let me know down below in the comments section. Also, let me know how you found my channel as well, guys. That always interests me to see what made you subscribe and stick around. Anyway, we are still searching for Laffy. It's blocked off. Um, he's going to be by Old oh, Sugar. No, run away from the wolfmen. No, thank you. Can't do Wait, any damage to them, run. remember, so definitely got to flee. Right, I reckon it's this way. I reckon Arthur is involved. I've said this for a while. That guy is a villain. Don't give up. Never give up. Don't give up. Never surrender. Never back down. <laughs> dead end. Whoops. No. No. Haha. I don't know how that's possible. Outrunning a wolf man. You would think he's faster than Velvet, but I guess not. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Well... There's definitely going to be murder over there. <laughs> that was supposed to be murder, by the way. Luffy, Arthur. <sighs> right, just from seeing that, from this distance, I can tell Arthur's holding a blade. Arthur's going to kill Laffy. Arthur killed the sister. I can't remember how to say her name. <laughs> Velvet! You... You. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm you sorry. I was looking for my brother. Should over. I not have turned off? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> no! What the hell? Like bindings of flame or something. Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight... Here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. Fuck you, Arthur! What? What are you saying? What a dick! No! Lucky! Oh, I can't take this. Lucky is so nice. It's exactly the same images as at the start of the game, when the sister was killed, floating in the sky, in front of the moon. Arthur, no! so badly right now. Ruffy! <laughs> oh. mm. Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Why? First recording of the day and this happens. Nothing can save him now. I'm going to enjoy ripping out your heart, Arthur. Change. With a smile. Ever a slave to emotion. <gasps> Did he just chop off Velvet's arm? Hand? Hand, arm? Limb? Appendage?
Wow. Well, I did call it. I did say Arthur was a villain. I just got goosebumps all on my arms. <laughs> and there's that light, just like when the sister was killed as well. Oh my god, that bounce though. So that's how Velvet gets her power. I got to fight him now? Seriously? Won't get to kill him though. No way. That'll be like end game, baby. Ha! Screw you! You're nothing to me. A demon that feeds on demons. Atherian. So are these wolf men like under his control now? Oh my god, that feels epic! And the control is like rumbling as well, so it feels like so much power behind these hits. It is awful. Well, there's got to be a purpose behind what he's doing. Well, I can't. I just can't Take wait to kill him. Around. No. <gasps> oh no! So when you actually kill them, they turn back into humans. Demon blight has spread through the village. Because of you. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist. Oh come on, both times. I Artorius. There's been murder with you around, pain. Arthur. It's not a coincidence. Whoa, who's this? Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. But why? Why are you doing this? Oh, I just got so much more goosebumps on my arms, guys. Oh, that was tense. I Laffy will. got murdered by Arthur. I will make you pay. Some kind of sacrifice to open up the doorway or whatever he said. What's his goal? Why is he doing this? Seriously. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. On lower battle difficulties, enemies attack less frequently and with less force, making them easier to defeat, but higher difficulties offer benefits such as improved item drops from enemies. Also, some effects of... What? Po po 
Potentite. Only activate on certain difficulty levels. You can change battle difficulty at any time by choosing options from the system menu. I love that games do this because if it gets too difficult, you can just switch it on the fly. And if you just want to play through and enjoy the story, you can while playing on easy. So yeah. That's awesome. I played through most of Tales of Zestiria on normal. It wasn't until towards the end that I switched it to easy because I just wanted to finish the game and finish the story. So it's probably going to be similar with this one. I'll play through on normal until like I get fed up of normal and like I just want to complete the game basically. So I'll leave it on normal so for now. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Three years, wow. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him and be my brother's vengeance. And your sister's, because that should have confirmed that he killed her as well. He's killed your sister and your brother. And tried to kill you. The guy is a dick. Look in the dictionary for the definition of dick and you'll see Arthur, Tales of Berseria. <laughs> Time to escape, maybe? Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Okay. Battle tutorial. Using L1 plus L will allow swift movement to the target. Burning wings. Burning wings. Uh, okay. Why? Burning wings. L1 plus L. That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. L1 plus L. Why? Burning wings. Provoke the enemy to attack, then perform a quick step. Burning wings. I don't get what I'm doing wrong here, but I'm doing something wrong. Oh, she's right up my ass. How am I supposed to do it? Oh, there we go. Did it. If you tilt the left stick while defending with L1, you will perform a quick step. Quick stepping expends a small amount of SG to dash in the direction pressed on L and can even be performed during a combo. If you perform a quick step just before an enemy attacks, the attack will only do one damage and you will recover some SG. Additionally, a soul may also appear. Collect it to gain one soul. I don't think I use quick step a lot in Tales of Zestiria, actually. Here I come. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. Here I go. Nice. Why are you holding Velvet back? Velvet needs new clothes. <laughs> She's basically you naked. Noticed. Well done. Naked. You pass. Of course. 
His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. Hmm, okay. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. Cleavage! There are exorcists now, throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. That's all I needed to hear. You See you later. Stop to listen, I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. Well, damn, that's some serious business. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now. He serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. Hmm. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. Oh god. We can still be killed. We will make sure we kill him then. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place and I'll explain. Side boob. Escape. So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Well, she's lost everything. Everyone in the village, her sister, her brother, all that is left is fighting for vengeance. Sasuke style! I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. You what, mate? What's that even mean? I've shattered your yoke. I'm not an egg! Okay, items gained. Prodigies. Glass sight, I think. Okay, provides the ability for equipment to trigger a random skill that. Um, provides the ability for equipment to trigger a random skill that. Ah, I thought it went to the next page. There we go. Improves the six basic basic statistics. There we go. Attack. Affects hidden and martial art damage. Art attack affects hidden and other non-martial art damage. Defense reduces damage from hidden and martial arts. Art defense reduces damage from hidden and other non-martial arts. Focus affects SG, regeneration rate, and chances of inflicting status effects. Martial arts. Swift kicks. Hidden Arts, Vicious Stabbing Attacks. Using Velvet's Quick Martial Arts to chain into Hidden Arts is a dependable tactic, but the elemental attributes on her Hidden Arts also make them well-suited for opening combos. Okay, fam. I'm just gonna toy around with, with playing with the combat myself, to be honest. Get used to things. Ooh, hello. Need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Weapons, yes, please. I'll take me some of them. Thank you very much. I wouldn't have thought Velvet would need a weapon. She can just use her beast arm. Not unless you can't use that at all times. You can only use it like for small periods. I don't know. Guess we will find out. Good old Tails music, I'm liking it. I'm liking the dungeon tunage. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Hm. Take what you need from here. No one raised the alarm. <laughs> Five gold? It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. 
Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it That's doing That's an here? awesome name for a sword. Stormhowl. Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Oh, damn. See, you can already tell how Velvet's changed in personality. Seeing your brother murdered before your eyes and being locked up in a dungeon for three years, having to feast off demons, we'll right. do that to a girl. Are you ready then? What's going on here? What's going on here? You're dead. That's what's Be going careful. on here. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. <laughs> Nice. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Hmm. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Oh, yes. so much boobs. I've learned that this is a prison <laughs> island. That island outfit, criminals, though. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. We're running off to join the pirates. Yar, got rope. Uh huh. I thought I saw something shiny hidden there. Right, guys. Now seems like a good time to stop this episode here. So don't forget to comment down below showing me that you guys are enjoying this series, and I will make sure to continue it on my channel. Probably going to be doing around the first five episodes of this and then see how you guys enjoy it. So just make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button and commenting to engage with this content. And it shows me you guys are enjoying it, which means I will spend my limited recording time on making more gameplay videos for this game. But anyway, guys... Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell to turn on notifications for my channel so that you don't miss any video uploads or live streams. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.